Breaking news. INEC Commissioner Yakub expresses fear. I am afraid of the Anambra governorship election as federal government insists it must hold. Hello, my wonderful people. That is the commissioner for INEC, uh, Professor Yakub, and he's expressing his honest position saying, you know what? I am truly and really afraid. Okay, I am truly and really and sincerely afraid. Federal government is insisting that this election must go on, but I must tell you, I am truly, really and sincerely afraid. Well, that is a man who, you know, he may not go there. Okay, he may send people there to do the work. And at the end of the day, we pray that everyone is safe, fine, because we know that IPOB is ready. Okay, IPOB is ready. And the government of Nigeria do not want to negotiate with them. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. My fear for Anambra governorship election, I am afraid. The governorship election in Anambra state is stated for November the 6th. The indigenous poll of Biafra has announced that the election will not hold. As a bargaining chip, they have vowed that unless their leader, Mazuna and Kanu, under the in, who is under incarceration by the federal government is released unconditionally from custody on or before November the 4th, they would put the entire Southeast to a lockdown for a week, starting from November the 5th, that is, a day before the election. Particularly, they have warned the people of Anambra State that for the safety of their lives, they should remain indoors for during the election and the seat at home order must be obeyed. Knowing the efficiency of IPOB in enforcing that their seat at home order in the past, mostly by threat or violence, this one should be this one should not be ignored. We hear that the independent National Electoral Commission chairman Yakub in a press conference said that the election in Anambra State will go on as planned. He hinged his confidence on the report that he received from the security agencies in the state, particularly the state commissioner of police as well as the resident electoral commission commissioner in the state. These people have assured him that the situation in Anambra state is conducive to hold a hitch-free election. The chairman did not for once make any assumption to, receive, to relent on the threat of IPOB. Every Monday since Mazuna and Ikano's arrest, there have been no lets up in the battle for supremacy in the entire region. For as a result of Monday sit at home order, IPOB, the entire Southeast, is always thrown into a ghost town every Monday. Those who breached the order have had to pay for it dearly. They were either shot or had their business premises blazed down. As a result, bank school, markets, gas station, etc., have learned to shut down their premises on Monday. My question is, what gives the INEC chairman the impression that the voters will come out this November 6th when there is a seat-at-home order by IPOB and risk their life to cast votes for who God knows who, who does not care or think about them, and ask them to risk their life for who? Good luck Jonathan had in a similar challenge in 2015 when he had a delay in presidential election by six weeks in order for the military to rescue the Northeast from Boko Haram and guarantee the safety of voters in that region. My advice to President Muhammadu Buhari is that he delays this one, have a negotiation with the IPOB or dialogue with them. This the president has refused. Being a proud person, he does not want to interact with the very people who could help but interact and negotiate dialogue with those who are killing Nigerians, who are holding them hostage, kidnapping them, and asking for ransom. This is what we are experiencing as a nation. So, my wonderful people, this is what is happening right now and right now as we speak. Muhammad Buhari does not want to negotiate with the people of the South East, yes? But he negotiates very well and, you know, very freely with those who are destroying the country. You know, you have a proper conversation, a full conversation with them, negotiate with them. They come and they go as they choose, as they like. Nobody, okay, nobody speaks anything. Nobody says anything. 
And this is why we are all crying out and shouting that enough is enough. We cannot continue on this safe tray and on this order and think that things will change. President Muhammad Buhari is not one who really is thinking about Nigerians. You see, largely he's thinking about what he will get at the end of the day. Despite failing the country grossly, he is not even bothered, you know, that he has failed and that Nigerians are watching with keen interest to see what next. Governorship election, you know, INEC Commission and the rest of them, they better not put the life of the people at risk. They better not. Because Nigerians, everybody is going through a lot already. And even the people of Anambra State, why do you want to even come out? When people are dabbling between opinions, you want to be caught up in a crossfire? If I'm to advise you, advice does not mean you have to take it. At the end of the day, it's a choice. I don't think you should come out and put your head out for those who do not care. Which politician, which one, don't stop motor for you? Not that they blow siren, they pass you. Then you have to clear way for them. Yet you are the one who will stick out your neck. You better be careful. You better be very, very careful and don't pretend that you know what to do to sort out this people for you better be very careful. Don't go and stick out your neck for those who do not care and who are going about their own thing and doing their own. Be very careful. You see, the, the, the whole election at the end of the day, most of them to a large extent are selfish. They are going after what they want. For themselves with themselves by themselves alone they don't care about you so for you to be warned is so that you don't get involved in any of these things and you don't get caught in a, in a you don't get caught in a crossfire who die and i lose though life continue do you know the funniest thing the day you die life will continue uh -huh. things will continue as if nothing has happened so be careful don't get caught up in their crossfire if Buhari does not want to negotiate with them, and if IPOB does not want to lift the seat at home order, please don't get caught up in this whole thing. Okay? Be wise. Don't get caught up in their whole, whether they will sit at home or they will not negotiate. Don't get caught up. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Please remember you have a voice. Let it count. Bye for now.